Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is Mr. Mudathir from Legacy School and this is ICT Year 7. In this lesson we're going to continue with evaluating information found on websites or uh, found online. We're going to start with choosing a search engine. Alright, let me start zooming in. Choosing a search engine. Uh, in this brief uh, lesson we're going to learn how to choose which search engine to use how search engines work, how results are ranked, and how the result at the top might not be the most relevant. So let's go ahead and get to it. Most people have a favorite search engine that they use every time they need to find uh, something on the internet. For example, Google is popular, very popular at the moment, and millions of people, we can say billions of people use it every day. There are actually hundreds of different search engines to choose from, and you might find that some of them are better than others depending on what you are searching for why are uh, why are there so many search engines uh, the main reason is that there's so much information on the internet that one search engine can't look through all of it uh, no one really knows how many uh, web pages there are on the internet but some some estimated it uh, uh, at around uh, 12 billion that is 12 and then you have in front of 12 you have six nine nine zeros in front of it so that's 12 billion websites another pro uh, another problem is that uh, the information on these pages is changing all the time uh, a web page that changes its information uh, like um, for example bbc.com every day they they uh, put out headlines. They put out. Uh, they post uh, news every day. Like not not even every day. Almost like every hour, or whenever they have breaking news or so. So web pages change the information in, uh, in them uh, very frequently. So uh, web pages that don't change, we call them static web pages or websites. And web web pages that changes the information, we call them dynamic uh, websites. Uh, we get to uh, we get to learn that in HTML how to create a dynamic uh, website. So uh, from this image, you can see that you have uh, some of the popular search engines: Google, Yahoo, Excite, Search, Ask.com, and here is another one: search engine on the web. Uh, Ask. It's actually called Ask Jeeves, Ask Jeeves, or Ask.com. All right, how search engines work. Most search engines work in the same way. You type in the keywords and the search engine lists all the results, uh, which are usually called hits. Uh, like uh, you have a whole result, uh, each one of them is called a hit. Uh, you then click on a link uh, from, the results, uh, from the results page and it takes you to the website. Uh, we've all like had uh, made uh, searches uh, online and we know how it works you you think of the keywords that you want to uh, type on the search engine and then the result shows right below that uh, each one is called hit or hits the search engine has to work out which sites to include in the results and which order to put them in a site is included in the results if it contains the same keyword as the ones you typed into the search engine this is why if you type something general like shop you get millions of hits the word shop is on millions of web pages uh, then the search engine then has to work out how to rank the results how to rank the results meaning like how to organize them which which one should go first which one should go second and so on it does this by working out uh, which website is most relevant to your keywords uh, it looks at the web pages listed in the in the results page and uh, then counts how many links these web pages have to other web pages with the same keywords in the keywords is like, like uh, what you have typed on the search bar exactly like the word shop how many words in that web pages okay so we have this table right here Keywords, that is your search inquiry. Results, web, web, uh, web page one, two, three, four. Number of links and ranks. So over here you typed concert tickets. There are a lot of web, web pages that, that, uh, that was created to uh, for you to get uh, concert tickets, party tickets, meaning 
uh, without actually having to go to uh, the stage or the office and then buy them with actual money you can just buy concert tickets from online so we you have uh, you type this and you got four results uh, number of links number of links containing this, the same keyword or close to the to the keyword that you type this web, web page one has 5200 uh, number of links and the ranking is 2 page number 2 has 8400 8, and the number of ranking is 1 uh, 2300 and the ranking is 3 1200 and the ranking is 4 and so on so basically uh, the number of links uh, column in figure 4 shows how many other web pages are linked to each to each result sorry the number of links in co uh, in the column in figure 4 shows how many other web pages are linked to each result in this case web web page 2 has got the highest number of links web web page 2 has 8400 8, uh, number of links which means that the search engine would put web page 2 at the top of the results page so when you when you when you search for a concert ticket probably uh, this uh, web page number 2 is going to be at the top of your list for example like right here this is your first hit Okay, sponsored links. We've studied that in uh, year four, like um, uh, three years ago. Sponsored links. One thing to watch out for is what what are called sponsored links. The internet has millions of web pages where the main purpose is to sell you something. The people that run these web pages can pay the search engine to make sure that their site is listed near the top of the result. You have an example right here. You see those those are your results and those are sponsored links so basically each and every company has a link over here or maybe they all belong to one company that paid Alta Vista this is uh, uh, one of the search engines a very old search engine I don't know if it's up yet if it's still available or not so they paid Alta Vista to uh, to show their uh, sponsored links to show their links uh, right in the results so uh, it's actually a paid web pages but sometimes it's like uh, uh, sponsored li links are not always bad I mean they are there and they're like taking up space on your screen and so but sometimes you m you may find something that uh, you can buy or maybe you can just download for free or something but basically if you're working those are like a huge uh, disturbance if you are working so uh, in some search engines you can see which are the sponsored links for example in in altavista.com a search for mp3 players brings up sponsored links at the top of the search and down the right side the right uh, the right hand side which is this one in figure 5 right here sponsored links can be useful and uh, and they can help you find what you want more quickly however you need to be aware of them because you might click on the first link or the first result in in the list thinking that it is the most relevant yeah, they tend to do that sometimes this might not be true as it might be at the top because the owner of the web page has paid for it to be at the top alright so I'm gonna go uh, and give you uh, a, a really quick example uh, I'm gonna uh, go to bing.com which is <coughs> another web uh, search engine pardon uh, another search engine and then we're gonna check out how sponsored links could actually work so this is uh, bing.com type your search uh, inquiry here laptops I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look for laptops like uh, I'm trying to buy a laptop let's assume that and I went online and search for laptops so those are your results those are your hit your hits but then you see right here see results for now that is a sponsored link that is a sponsored link because they paid for it uh, so basically you get to see sponsored links. Uh, other other uh, links that you can you can just look at them and you get you get a feeling that those links are not uh, normal uh, search result uh, if you feel that they have they have paid uh, bing.com to uh, show their links 
on the hit. Well, that is it for this lesson, guys. Uh, it was really brief, nice, and uh, very informative. If you have any question or any uh, inquiry or you want to add something, please do send me on the response section. Uh, till the next lesson, you guys take good care. Bye.